Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. This is section 4.4, L'Hobital's rule, and we will discuss here the indeterminate product, zero times infinity. So what if you substitute with zero, and you find, or any number, for example here zero, uh, x zero square is zero, one over zero is infinity. So you have zero over infinity. Here x also zero, one over zero is infinity. Here x is zero, one over zero is infinity. These are three cases in which the limit is different. The limit here is zero, the limit here is infinity, the limit here is one. So zero times infinity, you don't know what the answer is. It is an indeterminate product. So when you have f times g, and you, find, you want to find the limit when x approaches a, and one of the functions reaches zero, and the other one reaches infinity or negative infinity, then you have an indeterminate product, zero times infinity. What to do? Well, to find the limit, you need to rewrite the function f times g. You write it f over 1 over g or g over 1 over f. So either you take g down or f down. Okay. Of course, f divided by 1 over g is f times g. And g divided by 1 over f is g times f. So you can do that. For example, you have 3 times 4. You can write it 3 over 1 over 4. Okay, this is again 3 times 4. All right, so this is the method. And when you write it f over 1 over g, then you will get the form either 0, 0, 0 over 0, or infinity over infinity, which means you can use L'Hobital's rule. Remember, you cannot use L'Hobital's rule until you have 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. So 0 times infinity, you cannot use L'Hobital's rule. So first step would be to change it to 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, then use L'Hobital's rule. Here, x is 0, len 0, len positive 0 is negative infinity, because the graph of len, this is the graph of len. When len approaches 0 from the right, the function goes to negative infinity. So we have 0 times negative infinity. So what to do? We are not using L'Hobital's yet, but we write len x over 1 over x. So now, if I replace x by 0, 1 over 0 would be infinity, and len x is negative infinity, len 0. So I have infinity over infinity. So now I can use L'Hobital's rule. And L'Hobital's rule says, the, the derivative of len x, you find the derivative of len x and the derivative of 1 over x. If you need more information about L'Hobital's rule, please see the previous uh, video about L'Hobital's rule. So this would be 1 over x divided by negative 1 over x squared or multiplied by negative x squared if you change division to multiplication. So I have negative x squared over x or just negative x. So this would be x approaches 0 from the right of negative x, and when you replace x by 0, the answer is 0. So this is the answer in this example. Notice that you can think of taking ln x down, write it x over uh, 1 over ln x. But here, uh, you will get 0 over zero, and you think you you use L'Hobital's rule. Okay, we use L'Hobital's rule. The derivative of x is one. The derivative of one over ln x is negative one over ln x all square times the derivative of ln x, which is one over x. And now simplifying this, you will have limit x approaches 0 from the right. Now this is, this would be negative len x all square over uh, 
1 over x و times x so it would be negative x times ln x all square now yeah if you if you write it 1 divided by then change it to multiplication you will get this one now look to the original question in the original question we have x times ln x now we have x times ln x all square so actually now we are getting a more complicated expression okay we are getting a more complicated expression than the original question so you stop here you do not take ln x down you take x down you write it one over x so usually we write it we take one of the functions down to get a simplest a simpler limit okay to get uh, an easy easier limit uh, which was here so immediately we get the answer so if you take one of the functions down and you reach a more complicated situation just stop and take the other function down not this one if x is infinity sine pi over infinity would be zero sine zero is zero so what to do i have a infinity times zero i take one of the functions down usually if i have x i prefer to take it down so i write it one over x now if you replace x by infinity one over infinity is zero and sine zero is zero so i'll have zero over zero and now we can use l'hopital's rule derivative of sine is cosine derivative of pi over x is negative pi over x square pi is a constant and derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x square now you can notice that this pi is actually you can take it out okay this is negative 1 over x squared times pi to to see that you can cancel these two so you will have limit x approaches infinity of pi times cosine pi over x now if x is infinity pi over infinity is zero cosine zero is one one times pi is pi and the answer is pi sine zero is zero cosecant zero is actually one over zero because cosecant is one over sine so this is zero times infinity i want to take one of the functions down but you know that cosecant what is the definition of cosecant x it is one over sine x so i can immediately write this as sine 5x and cosecant 3x i can write it one over sine 3x so now sine 0 is 0 sine 0 is 0 so i have 0 over 0 and i can use l'hopital's rule derivative of sine 5x is cosine 5x times 5 derivative of sine 3x is cosine 3x times 3 and now cosine 0 is 1 so the answer is 5 over 3 x is negative infinity 1 over negative infinity is 0 1 minus 0 is 1 len 1 is 0 so we have the form infinity times 0 what to do one of the functions you take it down well i have x so i'll take it down 1 over x now I have 1 over infinity which is 0 and len 1 is 0 so I have 0 over 0 so I can use L'Hopital's rule negative 1 over x square is the derivative of 1 over x derivative of len is 1 over 1 minus 1 over x 1 over this 
times the derivative of one is zero. Derivative of one over x is negative one over x squared, but there is a minus. So this is one over x squared. Now simplify this. Well, I can simplify it like this. I have one over x squared times one minus one over x. This is in the numerator divided by negative one over x squared. So now I have one over x squared minus x squared over x is x multiplied by negative x squared. So I have negative x squared over x squared minus x, even you can take x as a common factor. And you can write it negative x over x minus 1. So this would be equal to limit x goes to negative infinity of negative x over x minus 1. And now when I replace x by negative infinity, I have infinity up, negative infinity down. So I can use L'Hopital's rule once more. Derivative of negative x is negative 1. Derivative of x is 1. So the answer is negative 1. Cosine pi over 2 is 0. Secant 5 pi over 2 is 1 over 0, which is infinity. So I know also that secant x is 1 over cosine x. So I can write this as cosine x as it is, but secant is 1 over. So it would be cosine 5x in the denominator. Now cosine pi over 2 is 0, and cosine negative pi over 2 is also 0. So I have 0 over 0. And I can use L'Hopital's rule. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. And derivative of 5x is 5. Sine pi over 2 is 1. So I have negative 1. Sine 5 pi over 2. is also 1. So the answer is 1 over 5. That's the limit and that's the end of the examples about this form 0 times infinity.